How much do y'all get paid? <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nintendo and I make videos on construction, lifestyle, and travel. On today's video, I have Lindo <laughs> and Kosi. So they are civil engineers and they're going to be answering the questions that you asked in my post. So yeah, let's get right on into it. The worst part of my job is the best part of my job and that sounds so corny but mm -hmm. it's the truth which is it it gets challenging at times and then it requires uh, dedication and long hours and you need to go above and beyond the call of duty there is no eight to five um especially when you're starting out uh that's not a thing you know so you need to go above and beyond the call of duty and it's like challenging and you know no sleep and all of that but that's what's fun about it as well because it's not a dead end type <coughs> affair you know always challenged always i don't know learning new things and all that i'll just add on to what she has said mm -hmm. with the challenges comes learning you know you learn mm -hmm. new things and well we're here to learn and gain, gain experience so yeah Worst and best part of the job. Yeah. We yeah. are growing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in life really is hard <laughs> if you think about it, right? What doesn't come without a challenge? So that was a bit of a challenge. But they there's 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 the the aids. The aids. So you've got tutorials, you've got people make friends mm -hmm. um you've got online they've got these videos that help people out so there's adu there's, there's so, so much it, help was it, it was hard it was hard, hard. <laughs> that she says <laughs> the math was hard yeah, it was stops hard. here and there you just need to put in the extra work lectures are not enough yeah so you need to practice practice consult attend tutorials just like math anyway really math practice. is a practice yeah sport, you need to keep so. practicing oh practice. i don't like math mm -hmm. yes Um, I can only speak to what used to be told to us at school, mm -hmm. which is generally that um, technology is a technologist. Yeah, civil technologist. Yeah. They learn the more practical side of things, and then uh, what's the other one? Engineers. So, yeah, engineers. Yeah. So engineers. engineers would learn like a theoretical version of it, so uh, more theory and more practical. Yeah. Okay. So in a work environment, an, an engineer would do the designing. And a technologist is more involved in the implementation of the project. So they go to sites and they make sure that the contractor does what's on the designs. And yeah, that's what we know. Okay, cool. I hope that was clear to you guys. Okay, so from my experience at work, when we work on civil projects, that would be, for example, road projects. We don't need a quantity surveyor. We do our own quantities and estimates. Mm -hmm. But when we work on building projects, that's when the quantity surveyor is the principal agent. So I would say for buildings, you usually have a QS, but if it's civil, like roads, we can do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. For us, I'm in geotech. Mm -hmm. So for us, I think we do our own quantities. Uh, I can't speak for like the main contractor because like we do just the geotech part. Mm -hmm. So if someone else is going to do the building afterwards, maybe that person would come in with the QS. But for our foundation part, we generally do the quantities ourselves. Okay, cool. understand why you're thinking of going to QS after doing a diploma in civil mm. wouldn't you be thinking about doing your BTEC and in like maybe structures or geotech or transport or something yeah so I don't know Natando as a I can, of the, yeah? Yeah. can you sell her on I can actually not QSing? really the fact that you're thinking of doing QSing that means maybe you might have an interest in it 
maybe civil is not you you want to work with the numbers or the accounting side of construction so maybe that's what you're thinking of if you like that then i think you can if you're passionate about it or if it's really something that you want to do then you can do it but if it's i don't know what the reasons are that's the yeah. thing yeah i think what she can do is if she watches this video mm. she can maybe tell us why she's thinking about doing QS. then we can take it from there or oh, watch no, don't you have a video on um what people should take off to decide to be QSS. Yeah, yeah, I do. So I do watch have one a... of those. So she'll put the link, link. to that video. <laughs> <laughs> like my whole channel. <laughs> Based off of that other question earlier, mm -hmm. where we said that there are jobs where we do oh, yes. work without quantity surveying, where we do our own quantities, therefore it is you, possible yes. for civil engineers to do their own uh, work as quantity, quantity surveyors. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. And for the qu second question, mm. I've seen a few job posts for quantity surveying and the requirements are like uh, QS, a degree or civil. Yes. So sometimes they do hire civil engineers to do a QS job. I think it would be in a civil job, maybe. Yeah. Like a road where a civil engineer can do the quantities yes. themselves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Yeah. I think for this question, um, we can talk about the different experiences we had. Uh, about getting work after graduating. Oh, yeah. So when I was in school, I was sponsored by a company, construction company. But when it was like when we graduated and it was time for them to give us jobs and us to sites, the company was going through some. The most. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, they could not hire us and they told us that we are free to look for other jobs. We didn't have to pay them back anything, which was good, you know? Right. But then I spent six months at home looking for work. Um, it was a tough time. Tough time. Spent Never six lost. months. But <laughs> luckily I got a job. I worked a uh, yeah, full contractor. So yeah, that was my experience. Currently I'm working for a consultant job. Um, I, I was a free agent so I didn't have a bursary. And then during like final year we had a project where we had to consult um in industry professionals so we went to a company uh hung out with a few people got a few cards i sent in my cv got an interview and job when well, i'm so it's it's luck and yeah. the opportunity that you taking the opportunities that are presented to you yep. oh isn't that cute oh market related salary yeah pay scale <laughs> you can you can google this stuff or well, isn't it isn't it on your engineering website or whatever forget but there's like pay scales as to based on experience and this is, this is where you should be yeah. yeah generally we fall in that range okay yeah. oh okay number one yeah so yeah, you tend to for projects you qualify for. There's terms oh, yes, and conditions, yes, yes, just yes, yes, CIDB yes. gradings, and then there's also requirements like academic requirements yeah. and experience requirements. Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's what they base it on. Okay. Yes and no, depending on what team you're in or depending on where you work. So with QSing, there's different divisions depending on the company, especially if you're in contracting and stuff. So since I'm in contracting, I'm a site QS. And there's a whole other team that handles the tenders, the estimating, the all the other stuff. So it depends whether I'm in you're in consulting or you're site based. I hope I answered the question. I feel like I didn't though. Is, no, you. Is he referring to a company or as a, in, a, a job? A, a survey, yeah. Or as a civil engineer? A, which one is it? I'm not sure. Wait, but but when he asked that question about tendering for stuff you don't qualify for, that's like applying for a job you don't you really qualify, qualify yes. for, and then applying for the best. I mean, I guess you could, yeah. and then you hope can, for the best. You can, and maybe you can learn on like while the decision is being made and if you're selected you need to know how to do it eventually like you need to meet the requirements if you're chosen you know mm, so unless you're the best out of everyone else who didn't meet the requirements who knows <laughs> maybe all of you guys didn't meet the requirements and then you're the best out of all of that that yeah. could work i mean shoot your shots yeah uh, i hope we answered the question i hope so if not please comment down below and say you oh, did not answer no the question you. sorry <laughs> I think 
Okay, so with civil, there's like different fields you could be in. So when you look at it that way, then definitely there's like a wide range of things you could master in or be a specialist in. Mm -hmm. So yes, you're all around a civil engineer, but you could be a hydraulic civil engineer, could be a geotechnical civil engineer, could roads be and roads and transport, you could be uh, no, structural, Structures. but with structural you could be concrete, you could be steel. So there's different things you could go into, so there's a wide variety of that. Yeah, as for opportunities, in the industry, opportunities depend on the economy. And you, okay, it's true. Yes, the economy is doing well, and there are a lot of infrastructure projects going on. Then there you go, opportunities galore. Mm. If <laughs> the country is not yes, doing I'm well, mm. <laughs> <laughs> is it still there? No, it's gone. But if the economy is not doing well, then that's when you face retrenchment. You know, our industry is very volatile. Like construction yeah. or yeah and infrastructure gets hit first yeah. mm. so you can you can feel the what's what's happening in the economy by what's well, how construction is doing yes because mm. mm. like if there's no money no one's gonna be building, no, so building so you're gonna be focusing right. on other things like surviving must be fed. Mm. Yeah, yeah 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 what else can we do? We can go to the bank, right? Oh, yeah. oh yes! We can also go to the bank. We can also go to the bank. Yes, you can be a bank monitoring. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. I feel like I have some videos on it so you can see QS and bank monitoring, QS and law. Yeah, you can be like a dispute lawyer. Yeah, yeah you can be in law as well. You can also do. Yeah, you can do. Do that dispute resolution investigation thing when 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 forensics. things go wrong forensics like a structural forensics. Yeah, i think it's also the same with us so instead of like it's, if people are disputing something you are there because you have the knowledge mm -hmm. but then you might also need to enhance the law side so that you can i don't know facilitate the project I better see. in a way I, I don't know yeah so there's law there's banking there's site there's consulting i feel like engineering as a whole like has those little bits little that, yeah, that you can be anywhere so yeah. it depends on your your path and your, your interests yeah. okay i hope that we answered all your questions if we didn't please comment down below guys can you please like i'm going to send you this video now yeah. and you must answer the comments when you see the uh, the comments the questions that need Pop clarity okay type of we'll, thing. we'll engage we'll okay engage. please yeah so you can still ask questions under this video and they'll engage with what they know also bear in mind that like we're still kind of juniors yes. so there's still a lot Please, to learn yes. like we're in the take it easy on us yes. we might have some things wrong and yeah 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 stand yeah. to be corrected yes we stand to be <laughs> corrected okay <laughs> live so. to learn yes. yes okay thank you so much for watching this video see you later in another video do Thanks, not forget guys. to like, like Comment Shit. and subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on the bell, okay? Oh, the notification, notification bell. bell. <laughs> <laughs>